Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time to our channel then welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button up in the corner and click that bell to get your notifications turned on. That way you'll be alerted every time we put out new content which happens on a weekly basis here on this channel. And if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and leave me some love in the comments below. Don't mind the wet spot on the tank. It comes with the territory of being a mom to three littles, which by the way, I am now about three, close to three and a half months postpartum with baby number three. Another testament to these tips I'm gonna be sharing with you because I'm not experiencing any hair loss. And honestly, I didn't with the other two either. So before we jump right into today's topic, I also want to remind you that linked below in the description is a wealth of resources. First and foremost, we have our seven day health transformation video guide to help you feel better in your body. And also consider joining the Eat Move Rest Club, which is our yearly membership you can get at 75% off off recurring. That is a 75% for life discount linked below if you want to join our yearly membership and get more access to more tools that will help you to thrive on a healthy whole food plant-based diet and lifestyle. We go well above and beyond all things food. So be sure to check it out linked below. Okay, so this has been a long time coming, pun intended. My hair has been growing long for a long time now. I'm going to share my top seven healthy hair secrets that have helped me to grow longer, thicker, and stronger hair faster. So tip number one, wash your hair less. I only wash my hair once, sometimes twice per week. I keep a big claw clip in the shower and I'll just twist my hair and wrap it up and clip it and just wash my face and my body and I only shampoo and condition my hair once a week. So I know a lot of you are probably wondering, well, what do you do when you work out and you get really sweaty or when your hair gets really oily and greasy? And honestly, I had very oily, greasy hair my whole entire life, which prompted me to wash it repeatedly day in and day out, which honestly just desiccates or dries out the hair shaft. So instead, what you want your body to do is produce that oil to hydrate the hair from the scalp. It's actually going to condition your hair and your body learns to self-regulate its oil production based upon, you know, if you're stripping it a lot, it's just going to overproduce oil. The same goes for washing your face too much. It's just going to respond by overproducing oil. So your scalp will acclimate. That being said, if you are an intense workouter like myself, especially here in the Florida hot summer sun, we work out in our garage and it's usually around 95 to 100 degree heat index in there. And I'm usually looking like I just got out of the pool by the time I finish a workout. So what I do if I have oily hair, so instead of using like a chemical aerosolized dry shampoo, I instead just simply use a starch. So you can use cornstarch or arrowroot powder, which is what this is. So basically I just keep it in like a little spice jar with these holes on the top so I can put it into my hands. And another thing you can do if it gets kind of messy to apply it that way, you can actually put it onto a kabuki brush, like one of those big poofy brushes you use to apply powder foundation or loose mineral foundation. So put it onto there and then dust it into your hair. But I usually put it in my palms, rub it in, and I just massage it in all along my hairline and at the roots. And if you have dark hair, you can add in cacao powder, cinnamon, any type of brown tint will help, but those two definitely smell the nicest. So it's a very eco-friendly, very safe product to use instead of using, like I said, the aerosols that you breathe in that are full of chemical compounds that honestly probably aren't good for your hair or seeping into your scalp. So simple fix for greasy, oily hair if you only wash once a week. As for shampoo and conditioner, being that I only do it once a week, I'm looking for something that is very potent but also non-stripping. So clean, holistic products that are not going to dry your hair out and strip it of its natural oils. So I try to go easy on the shampoo and I really love a few different ones. So one that I recently found that I really love that's super clean is Grown Alchemist. The reason I love this one is because the conditioner is one that I can actually comb through my hair with. So I have 
very fine hair that tangles super easily. The kids have my hair as well. So we all use Grown Alchemist and it actually helps to detangle quite well for being a clean product. So I really love that one. I've also been a long time user of 100% pure shampoo and conditioners. Love, love, love them. And then another one I love is Morocco Method, but it's very, very crunchy as in like so hippie and so clean that I can't really comb through my hair with that one, but it is really great. Dusty loves that one. And then I also have two that I use for scalp treatment. Number one is Oliveda's H22 Hair and Scalp Treatment. I'll massage it into my scalp while I'm in the shower with wet hair after I have shampooed. Massage it in and pin it up and let it sit for 10 minutes while I'm scrubbing, shaving, exfoliating, whatever I'm doing, and then I'll rinse it out. And I still add in the Grown Alchemist Conditioner to the ends because again, it helps with the detangling, but I really, really love, this is actually empty almost, the H22 Hair and Scalp Treatment from Oliveda. So it's waterless. I've talked about waterless skincare and beauty. This one does not contain water as the first ingredient. Just like the skincare, it is replaced by olive leaf cell extract or elixir, which is hydroxytyrosol, super duper antioxidant rich, fights inflammation. It's great for scalp problems like dandruff. So definitely check that one out. The other hair and scalp treatment that I love is an oil-based treatment. So this one I found on Amazon, it's called Vegan Mia Organics. So it contains a blend of oils and it does not take very much. So I use this one two ways. Every once in a while, I will do a deep treatment with this one where I will massage it into my dry hair and just let it soak. You can wear a cap and sleep in it overnight. Or what I do is I just let it set for about 30 minutes. I don't do this often, maybe once a month, but I'll treat my scalp like that and then shower and rinse and wash as usual. The other way I like to use this one is on my ends because once your hair grows out of the scalp, it's essentially dead, especially down here. Think about how old this hair is down here. So in order to keep it healthy and strong and lustrous and keep it from being damaged by things like heat tools, two to three drops in the palm of my hand, I'll rub my palms together and get it nice and warm. And then I'll put it into my wet hair after the shower and then I will just let it air dry. So this one's great for helping with the integrity of this older, more mature hair towards the ends. So something to look for is products with rosemary because that can be very stimulating for the scalp and for hair growth. Number four, minimize heat and use protection. So I honestly, living here in Florida, have stopped using heat tools pretty much for that reason. The humidity level just does not lend well at all to using heat tools. And if you just have to blow dry your hair, then be sure to apply some type of protection, especially to the ends of your hair. So that Vegan Mia hair oil would be a great option. Anything oil-based, so putting some drops in the palm of your hand, rubbing them together until it's warm, and then massaging it into the ends of your hair. Hair. Same goes for if you're going to be using a curling iron or a flat iron. I have found a great alternative. I use this Sway instead. This is a heatless curl technique. This has kind of a velvety texture which grips your hair a little bit and helps to hold it in place as opposed to some of those that are like satin texture. They just kind of slip down. So you're going to place it at the top and then it comes with a clip that you clip in place and then kind of French braid style. You start with a small strand and keep adding strands to it and just twist it around, curl it around. You tie the ends with the hair ties, wrap it up, tie it in a bow. And this is something that I would typically do with clean hair and put it in overnight and sleep in it. And the next day, it's amazing how beautiful the curls are, just like a curling iron. I love it so much. So I will link this below with a discount for you guys as well. If you do use a curling iron or a flat iron, make sure to get one that is ceramic coated. So this is going to, again, protect your hair. It's very important. So make sure you buy high quality heat tools if you are going to use them. So whether your hair is wet and you're blow drying it or it's already dry, dry and you're using a curling iron or flat iron, make sure that you're putting that oil on there first to protect the strands. When it comes to combing your hair, I love the Tangle Teaser. I use it for myself and the kids since we all have the same fine hair that tangles easily. And these teeth actually 
have a lot of give to them. So it really helps to, like it says, tease out those tangles as opposed to just like something more rigid and firm that's just gonna keep tugging and tugging and making that knot tighter. And eventually you're gonna be left with a big clump of your hair falling out. So I love the tangle teaser. It works really well. For the most part, I try not to use heat products and I just throw my hair in a top knot with a hair tie that isn't going to damage my hair. So I love these nylon ones. And then I also have some big scrunchies that are even more gentle on your hair because you can get a lot of breakage if you're using something that's too tight. I've just learned to embrace my hair's natural body and curls. Something I've found really helpful is either getting in the ocean and then I have like the best ocean beach waves. But if that's not an option, there are so many great sea salt sprays you can use in your hair and it really gives your, your hair a beautiful texture and body as opposed to curling it. So along with using quality hair ties that aren't going to create stress or tugging on your hair strands, also make sure that you're just letting your hair down, especially at bedtime. I know a lot of people like to throw their hair up in a bun, but I've actually found that just wearing my hair down has been a lot more gentle for it. And we use bamboo pillowcases, which I feel like are a lot less scrapey and scratchy. They're almost silk-like. So we don't use silk because it's not vegan, but the bamboo pillowcases definitely help hair as well. So this is another small tidbit here. I think this tip should actually go at the beginning and it is to commit. So commit to not cutting your hair. The reason why my hair has never been to this length is most likely because I always end up caving. I go through a period of life where I want a dramatic change. I want something exciting and new and fresh and I end up chopping it off before I've ultimately given it a chance and stuck it out to get to this length. That being said, all of these other tips can help get your hair to a longer length faster and better because you're creating a stronger hair shaft that isn't becoming compromised as it ages growing out. So I used to get a lot of split ends because I was doing all the wrong things with too much flat iron, too much curling iron, over washing, exposing it to elements and using products that weren't clean and healthy and safe. So all of that plus having a not great diet eventually led to my hair just not looking great as it was growing out, which is honestly why I always end up wanting to chop it. So if you try and follow these other tips and tricks, hopefully you'll experience less breakage, less split ends. You'll have to get less of those cleanup trims that honestly are keeping your hair from getting longer. I used to always go in and get an inch chopped off and get an inch and get an inch. But honestly, our hair only grows about a quarter of an inch per month if you're lucky. So if you keep trimming it a quarter of an inch, it's just gonna keep putting you back where you were. So keep your hair growing healthy and long and strong so you have to do less of those little mini trims. So I will get into diet and foods you can eat, which I feel like is probably the most important foundation for healthy hair, skin, and nails. But before I do that, I wanna mention supplements. So one of our longtime favorites has always been Sun Warrior. They have organic, raw, whole food plant-based protein and superfood powders. So for example, the protein we use contains pea, goji, and hemp seed proteins. And then they add in lots of other amazing superfoods and adaptogens like maca and mushroom blends. So there are lots of different protein powders. My actual favorite from them is the Beauty Greens Collagen Booster. So instead of consuming animal collagen for better hair, skin, and nails, we opt to consume plant foods that actually are collagen promoting. We're consuming foods that actually help boost your own collagen. That's empowering your own cells to do what they've been designed to do. That product contains silica from bamboo, as well as the mushroom blend. It contains a vegetable blend, a greens blend, all of these are so amazing for your hair, skin, and nails. It also contains hyaluronic acid, which again is great for drawing water into the cells and plumping and giving a lot of hydration. If you guys are interested in Sun Warrior, you can check it out linked below and use my discount code for 20% off and 30% off if you purchase a bundle. The other product that has been brand spanking new to my diet and supplementation regimen just 
since this March of 2024 is Oliveda's Hero product, their first product that everybody raves about. It's actually an internal or an ingestible the IO-1 Orac Plus Camu Camu. So you take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, about a teaspoon, and you can do that two to three times a day. I just do it once a day in the morning. And legitimately, since I've been taking it, just from March till now in July, I have seen tremendous thickening and baby wispy hairs growing in even during this postpartum phase. So lots and lots of new hair growth and thickening and being that I'm fair skinned and have blonde hair and very thin strands that tangle easily, a lot of times you will see thinner hair for people who have this hair type and skin type, but it's grown in and thickened in a lot and it's happened quickly. So I'm a firm believer in that product. It contains the hydroxytyrosol, which is phenomenal. It's been well studied on PubMed if you research it. It has profound anti-inflammatory properties. It's fantastic for immune support and it's coupled with that Camu Camu which is ridiculously rich in vitamin C. It's the highest source of vitamin C of any fruit on the planet. So you couple that vitamin C with the hydroxytyrosol and they work synergistically together and actually amplify each other's benefits. So again, going back to vitamin C, this is a food that you need to help your body produce more of its own collagen. And finally, since our channel is predominantly focused on a healthy whole food plant-based diet, it goes without saying that this is super important. Healthy hair, skin, and nails are honestly secondary. So if your body is in a state of dis-ease or malnourishment or just isn't getting enough of what it needs, maybe you're in a depleted state, whether it's because you're postpartum and your baby just kind of sucked it all right out of you, or maybe you just had, for example, COVID. A lot of people experience extreme hair loss with COVID. I myself can vouch for that years ago. These all leave our bodies in a less than prime state. So they leave us depleted and that can cause hair to just be weaker, thinner, fall out, break off, all of these things because your body is focusing on more important tasks at hand. It's working on all of the essential functions in the human body, whereas hair, skin, and nails are secondary. You can combat so many of these hair problems simply by hyper nourishing. Number one, you wanna make sure that you're not in a deficit and cutting calories to the point where your body isn't getting enough of what it needs. And you also want to make sure that you're supporting your immune system. So these two go hand in hand because if you're eating an abundance of fiber rich, nutrient rich plant foods, you'll be hyper nourishing and boosting your immune system. So there are some nutrients that are of extra importance in a plant-based diet that can really help with hair, skin and nails. So some that I look to would be biotin, omega-3s, vitamin A, vitamin E. So vitamin A and E are fat soluble. So that also means you will want to be consuming healthy fats in order for those nutrients to properly absorb and be utilized in your body. Omega-3 fatty acids are really, really helpful for hair, skin, and nails to be soft, supple, shiny. It also helps with your heart health, your vision. So ridiculously important. Vitamin A and E can be found in a lot of fruits and vegetables and in nuts and seeds. So after I had Max, our firstborn about six years ago, I started consuming a lot more oats. They're great for lactation. They're also very vitamin and mineral rich. Another nutrient, iron is super important and zinc. My absolute favorite plant sources that help with hair, skin, and nails that I consume on the daily would be oats, avocados, sweet potatoes, lentils, nuts and seeds like chia, flax, pumpkin, sunflower, walnuts, lots and lots of dark leafy greens, which are so mineral rich, and tons of fresh fruit, whatever's in season. A lot of fruits are high in vitamin C, which again is going to promote that collagen, and that's going to ultimately help with your hair and skin and nails as well. So let's really quick recap those top seven tips. Number one, wash your hair less. Number two, treat your scalp. Number three, treat your ends. Minimize or avoid heat tools. Use supplements that can help. Careful with the hair ties and just let your hair grow. If you're following all the other steps, that shouldn't be as much of an issue. And finally, a healthy whole foods plant-based diet rich in all the things, oats, sweet potatoes, avocados, nuts and seeds, and leafy greens and fresh seasonal fruits 
and nutrients of importance would be biotin, omega-3s, vitamin A, vitamin E, maybe even vitamin D could be thrown in that category. And also don't forget hydration. So staying up on your water intake is also super important. This little boy's got some wild hair, don't you? I have to trim it all the time. It grows like a weed. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on all things healthy hair. If you did, hit that subscribe button and join the Eat Move Rest fam. It helps our channel tremendously. Click that bell to turn on your notifications. Leave me some love in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and also be sure to check the description for that video guide. Join our membership, check out those other amazing supplements and resources and be sure to grab your Sun Warrior with that 20% off code. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Your best. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Peace. Let's see what you look like with super long hair. <laughs> <laughs>